After losing a fight to giant moles and informing Ramon of her recently failing powers, America raced to Washington Heights when her childhood apartment was on fire trapped in a force field. Breaching the bubble so Spider-Man could evacuate civilians, America extinguished the flames but learned she was targeted through the Santanas. When she accompanied Javi to the bodega, security footage and a clue lead America to her stalker, who showcased identical powers in a chase to the real Utopia parallel and was incapacitated in a trap. Awakened to find her stalker was really Catalina, America didn't remember her as her sister tried explaining her true past. Showing America a stasis chamber housing numerous young girls, Catalina asked for help to finish their mother's research, but America refused not wanting to endanger the girls. Unable to fight properly, America instead relocated Catalina to New Jersey, then took sodium theopental to chemically unlock her true memories. Once she remembered, resolute in finishing her mother's mission, America freed the girls in stasis. Catalina returned shortly afterwards, having taken Berto hostage on her return to compel America's compliance. Led to the Starling Chamber, America was ordered to find their mothers across the multiverse to bring them back regardless of objections. Although her illness reduced her powers, America still complied and made a star portal, but Catalina's distrust distracted her when America tried to appeal to her and America was helpless as Catalina was pulled into the star portal going anywhere into the multiverse. After freeing Berto and taking the girls to New York, America clarified the public record of what really happened with her mothers and their research. After she reunited with the Santanas, America moved back to Washington Heights as her resurfaced edges syndrome made her superhero activity a time-sensitive issue. As she sought a cure, America informed Ramon of her story and the two amicably split to allow America time to heal.